This is the Citroen C3 Aircross. The world premiere of which has just now happened in India and today we are going to be spending some time with this car to find out what it is all about. Hi, my name is Zulf Aliwal, you are watching AutoX, let's get started. Being a Citroen, this C3 Aircross looks really really fresh. I mean, you have those typical Citroen design cues obviously right here, you've got the double chevron logo, you've got this wide grille, but there's some new touches here which I really really like and I'm gonna speak about them. First of all, this is this piano black grille over here with this almost square insert with lines in between them. It is giving this so much presence, so much mass in the front end. Looks really really cool, looks promising and I think it's going to command a lot of presence on the road and you've got a lot of space here for air to also go through so obviously we know for sure that the engine's not going to be running hot now apart from that you've got this split headlamp setup here you've got the led drl at the top and then you've got this headlamp unit over here down below it's a split setup looks really really nice i think it's what the car designers seem to be going for nowadays now as we move towards the side we see these but well, it's a similar design but it's bigger now the alloy wheels and they look nicer uh, the size, I mean, these are 17 inch units. You've got a 215 section tire. There's going to be a lot of grip on offer. And you've got this cladding around the edges of the car, over the wheel arches, at the bottom over here, on the side over here, which gives this kind of a rugged, muscular presence. And looks, I have I said this, that this car looks quite SUV ish. Uh, with the Citroen C3, actually, Citroen was very shy of calling that car an SUV. And I think that's a good thing. But over here, this definitely has SUV like presence. I think if it was just a little bit more jacked up, it would have really come into that role. But anyway, I mean, I'm not complaining. As we move towards the back over here, you also notice that this car gets a dual tone finish over here. The blue and the white looks really contrasty, really, really nice. Now, as you come towards the back, you see the tail lights over here. And I think they look really, really gorgeous. They've got this nice detailing over here. The Citroen's also been imprinted in the design. The moniker has been imprinted, looks really nice. Really cool touch. And uh, I think these tail lamps, they look similar to the C3, they're not the same. And then they've been extended over here on the side, which gives them a lot of mass. I think they look really nice. I think this the entire theme about this car is about it looking larger than it actually is. And that's going to work really well on Indian roads. Now, as we come towards the back over here, obviously, you see the traditional Citroen elements like the double Chevron logo, the Citroen badging in the middle of the car. And this, obviously, C3 Aircross. What this car is called this is the first time this car is being seen. This is the first time this is the world premiere of this car. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. And as you move back and take a whole good look at the boot, it's actually a very flat profile. It falls down very sharply and has this really uh, upright stance at the back. What do you think about that? You know what? Let us know in the comments below. And with that, let's move into the first row of the car. So now we are in the first row of the Citroen C3 Aircross and I have to say things are very familiar here and quite different also. I think I'll start with the similarities first. First of all, the quirky elements inside the cabin, they are quite similar to that of the C3. Uh, in fact, the events on the side are quite similar. The steering wheel feels very same. The touchscreen over here. Uh, the housing for the touchscreen also feels very same, although the graphics, they are of a different color. Uh, we'll have to get back to you on if this is actually like an improved feel or not. But what has improved is the instrument cluster, which is now a digital affair. Looks very snappy, very cool, very clean design. And I think uh, it adds a bit of sophistication to this cabin and it's not lacking in any. Apart from that, the controls over here, again, are very similar to what you see on the C3. There's a lot of storage space you get over here, two cup holders, the storage space in front of that, another shelf over here on the top. You've got a USB-A socket, a 12-volt socket over here. And overall, uh, I think this cabin feels very comfortable. There's a healthy use of colors over here. As you can see, it's a triple tone dashboard. Uh, there's black on the top. There's this green colored finish with a textured finish in the middle and this beige finish down here. Now, uh, let's talk about the seats. The seats are super supportive. They're super comfortable. And in fact, uh, the material that has been used to drape these seats feels very, very nice, very, very premium. And I think, you know, that problem where sometimes seats get very hot and it becomes a bother to sit in them. It becomes a problem because they're so hot. I think these should not be facing that problem. Obviously, we'll only be able to tell you fully about that once we drive the car. Apart from that, there's this fabric finish on the top half. Uh, it's not really going to be coming into the contact with the passenger a lot because it's the top half of the seat. But it does look very cool. It does look premium and it looks different. It's something Citroen's doing that no one else is doing and that's why it stands out. 
the door also there's a lot of plastics over here these are hard plastics but i have to say this the finish is nice everything else over here is the same as the citroen c3 and the ec3 it's quite similar in that regards and with that now let's move to the back seat of the citroen c3 across where all the magic is happening now we're in the second row of the Citroen C3 Aircross and as we said, this is truly where the magic happens. The story continues in terms of the seats. The seats are actually draped in a very premium material and again the top half is draped in this fabric finish. Looks really, really cool. You've got a lot of space here. The seats are super comfortable. The bolstering is not aggressive in the middle. That means three passengers should be able to sit in here very comfortably. You've got a lot of space underneath the driver's seat over here and obviously the passenger seat as well to tuck in your feet and the thighs under thigh support even though the seat base it's not very long in sense of the width over here is not a lot and you are left wanting for a little bit of support for this part of your thighs but you Citroen's making up for that by giving you a lot of space here a lot of knee room here which will keep you comfortable now there's a couple of party tricks that are happening here first of all You've all heard of a 60-40 split. Have you heard of a 70-30 split? Because that is what this car has. This seat actually folds down in a 70-30 split and should that be more comfortable? Well, we'll find out the answer to that question when the time comes. Another cool party trick over here is to keep the rear occupants cool. Citroen is giving you these AC vents in the roof. You've seen that in other cars. You've seen them in the Ertiga also before and uh, I think the Triber also before. Uh, but they've been done up in this very Citroen where the shape is quite similar to the air vents in the front yes they are made up over here of these slightly tackier plastics and these knobs these adjusting knobs over here do not in fire inspire a lot of confidence but i think uh, it's the thought that counts and they do look nice you also got a separate air fan uh, air speed control over here at the back uh, there's no separate ac control unit over here so we yet don't know if you get a separate ac unit for the back or it's the same ac unit that's being used in the front obviously we'll find that out with time to come and that was the second row of the citroen c3 aircross but if you thought that we are done with the interior well that's not the case because there's one more row to go behind and we're going to do just that now so basically you can simply by just pulling this strap this entire seat tumbles up forward and I think it's a very cool way of getting into the car. Uh, at the back here, you have these two seats. These are foldable. And honestly, while you you seem to have space over here, uh, first of all, you're in a very knees up position. I think this is 30, 40, even close to 45 degrees if I'm not afraid. This is not going to be comfortable for an adult for sure. And I think even children will get really, really bored, really, really claustrophobic in here could be. I think this is only going to come into use when you want to like drive around for like say 15 to 30 minutes. Anything more than that in this part of the cabin will feel like a challenge. Especially because this roof, it's scooping down here. It's eating into your head roof. You've got these really tiny windows and it's a good touch. You've got a quarter glass over here to give you some sense of the outside world. You've got this massive plastic piece over here that's blocking your outside view and it does feel a little hemmed in if it will feel that way once you drive the car well obviously as you know we cannot answer that question right now but we will in due time and with that i think that's the end of the third row you ha do have a couple of charging uh, sockets over here these are usb a socket you've got a hook over here where you can place like a three kilo load uh, and apart from that you've got one cup holder on each side to keep your beverage in place and with that, it's the end of the third row. Time to step out. Now, when a car's got a third row, especially a car of this size, the boot often becomes a challenge. And you know what? It is because there is not a lot of space here if the third row is up. Uh, probably enough to keep like two or three laptop bags over here. That's the max you can fit. But space does free itself up once you flip down the seats and uh, what Citroen said is once you've flipped the seats down uh, you've liberated about 511 liters of cargo space that's a lot I mean uh, it'll do a major airport run without any problem and what's even cooler is that you can actually completely remove these seats and this then kind of becomes like a five seater which is a really nice touch if you do not want to use a car often as a seven seater then you can free up a lot of space and with that we're done with the interior of the Citroen C3.
So that was a quick first look of the Citroen C3 aircraft. Let us know down in the comments what you think about it. And obviously stay connected to the AutoX channel for more such content to know more such information about this car as and when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching and until the next one, goodbye.